Hello, my name is Tanya and I'm here with Thomas and we are both fourth year chemical and bioengineering students at McMaster University. Now you may not have heard of it before, but there is a polymer used every day that has a huge impact on our modern world. But what is this polymer? PMMA, which stands for polymethyl methacrylate, though you may know it by its more common name, plexiglass. All PMMA polymer chains that make up plexiglass are built from this repeating unit. You may have seen PMMA in your everyday life without even knowing it. If you've gone shopping in the past 10 months, you've probably noticed the PMMA sheets blocking you and the cashier. PMMA is also used to protect you from flying hockey pucks around hockey rinks and even as windows in aquariums. The PMMA polymer is formed through a general reaction called an addition reaction. The specific process that causes the formation of PMMA is called free radical polymerization. In this process, a methyl methacrylate monomer is combined with a thing called a free radical initiator. Think of this like a spark that starts the whole polymerization reaction. It has a single unpaired electron, which is super unstable. This means it really wants to form a bond and become stable. This initiator will break the double bond, which allows for both carbons to accept another bond. The leftmost carbon will bond with the initiator, though this will not impact the polymer much, but the central carbon will now have an unpaired electron just like the initiator did. So now it is unstable and wants to bond with other monomer units. This process will repeat and repeat, building up a long chain, which we call a polymer, and this chain could be hundreds or thousands of units long. In general, this process will continue until two free radicals meet and bond with each other, terminating the reaction. Here you can see that the polymer is linear, since each repeating unit is only connected to two other monomers. PMMA also has side groups sticking out of each repeating unit that prevents the polymer from being brought close together. This means that the polymer is in a random orientation, like a pile of spaghetti. We call this type of polymer amorphous, which gives it many useful properties. One cool property is that PMMA is transparent because like glass, it is amorphous. There's a lot of open space between chains of PMMA, meaning light can easily pass through, making it appear transparent. Also, remember those bulky side groups we were talking about? Not only do those groups cause PMMA to be amorphous, but they also cause the chains to snag on each other kind of like how hooks can be caught on each other. The effect on the big sail causes PMMA to become very rigid and tough, so much so that it has been used in windows to withstand high pressure in submarines. Due to these useful properties, PMMA became popular during World War II as a glass replacement. Some current uses of PMMA today are exterior car lights, greenhouse panels, windows and airplanes, and even dentures. We hope you've learned some cool things about PMMA and its amazing applications in the world. Thank you for watching our video and take care.